Welcome back. So if you're in the market for a new job, we all know that hunt can be a little overwhelming. That's right. And if you don't know where to start, we have an option that has so many benefits, including being put on a debt-free career path. And we're going to tell you all about it and how you can join it. So joining us today is Danny Van Sickle with the Electrical Training Alliance of Jacksonville. Good to see you, man. What's up, guys? How you doing? All right. So for those who haven't been following along with us and I got a chance to go out there, uh, tell us about the school. We are a five-year apprenticeship for the electrical and teledata industry. Uh, we teach young men and women to um, go through the field and to learn how to be electricians and teledata technicians. It's a five-year program. They go two nights a week with occasional Saturdays. And whenever they get done, they're at the journey level experience and they make journey level pay. That's awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about the application process and the details that are involved with that? The best way to do it is go to our website, etajax.org. And whenever you get there, you'll see a link for no applying. And whenever you click on that link, um, it's going to ask you some standard application questions. It's going to try to get to know a little bit more about you. And it's also going to ask you to upload some documentation like valid driver's license and um, high school transcripts, things like that. Once you finish that application, then you'll get scheduled for an aptitude test. All right, let's talk about that. We've talked about this a couple times because I've been out there and, and every electrician on the job will tell you the electricians are the smartest people on the job. Um, the aptitude test. What, is there a way to study for it? What would I need to study uh, if I was getting ready for this test? Well, the aptitude test, it measures your reading comprehension and your math skills. And it's developed on the national level by our parent organization. So there's really not one particular test that I could say to study for it. I would suggest if you were to Google, say, Bennett test, Tabe test, Wiseman, um, those are proficiency aptitude style tests. City of Jacksonville uses some of those tests. And uh, they'll give you a, a, an idea of what to look for when you come to us. Uh, we get asked, you know, why are we taking this test? Why, why do I need to know about reading comprehension and math? Well, you know, and Curtis, you saw the books. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of textbooks and a lot of reading you have to do to get through the apprenticeship, to get the technical part down. So, you know, we really want to see where you're at as far as that skill. And the math, math is used all throughout the apprenticeship and the school, but also on the job. You know, you're going to need math to do your alternating current and DC current concepts. But when you get out in the field, you need to know math as far as bending conduit and doing your circuit calculations. For sure. So there's actually an interview process in all of this. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, once you get the qualifying skill on the aptitude test, then you come in for an interview. So I like to tell people, think of the interview the same way you would a job interview. Right? So when you come into uh, the interview process, um, you want to dress for it. Dress professionally. You don't have to wear a full suit, but don't come in in jeans and a t-shirt either. Just business professional. Um, body language has a lot to do with it. So whenever you come in, look everybody in the eye, you know, shake their hand, smile. Um, it's going to be stressful enough. You don't want to make it worse on yourself. Uh, when you sit down, don't slouch down. Sit up at attention. Act like this is something that you really want to go into. Um, I would also say leave your phone behind. Most people, they just can't live without their phones. <laughs> um, so a lot of times they'll bring them into the lobby and, you know, to try to pass the time and they forget to turn them off or turn them down. They bring them to the interview okay. process and all of a sudden their phone goes off in the middle of a process. That's a bad look. You know, once you get into the apprenticeship, you can't have your phone during class hours. And when you get on the job, you can't be using your phone because it's so dangerous if you're not paying attention to the task that you're looking at. Right. Absolutely. Um, all right, let's go over again uh, documentation that you, you should bring. Yeah, whenever you come, you want to try to give a snapshot of yourself. So we're already going to have some things, like the things you uploaded, like your high school transcripts. But when you come, bring things like a resume. Show us your, your work history so we can see you know, what you've done before. Bring some letters of recommendation from non-family members. You know, um, If you've won any kind of awards or done any kind of certifications in your past, bring all that kind of stuff. We want a, a big snapshot of you whenever you come into the interview, and it'll give you a better chance to succeed. Um, right now, the industry's booming. And uh, we just want as many applicants as possible to come in. We want to pick the best ones. Well, that's some great advice. Make sure to put your best foot forward, obviously. And I think that applies to almost any interview, really, but for this one especially. Yeah. So can you tell us how someone can get started? Like, go to our website, etajax.org, or come into our facility. You can fill out an application there as well. Um, go through the process of you know getting everything uploaded and, and submitting everything and uh, we'd love to see you come. Get in there, they keep yeah. getting more and more applicants. Every time we do one of these segments, you guys get more applicants. So we'll, uh, we look forward to getting out there again. A special thanks to Electrical Training Alliance of Jacksonville for joining us today and sharing this information and their great program.